One more round. Infi in the chair of an emperor and Colorful on the left hand side. It's Undead versus Night Elf once again. Is Infi giving it his all? How well prepared is he? There was only two days, I think, for him to prepare for this match, plus streaming this entire league. But man, this chair fits him so well. His personality. How evil he can sometimes be on the maps. It's just the evil emperor. It's so good. All right, though. What style of undead is Infi displaying? Is it expo or is it no expo? Kind of hard to prepare for Infi nowadays because there's not a, not so many tournament games for him. And he's playing multiple races. DK. Okay. Yeah, this smells like Expo to me. I mean, is an Infi game without an expansion even a real Infi game? I don't think so. His playstyle always revolved around economy. Oh, colorful. So tired. Don't deny, though. Infi somehow looks younger than the last time I saw him. Okay, so far... So calm, but that will change because an Immolation Demon Hunter is in close proximity of the Undead expansion when the DK has two skulls in his inventory. Experienced Warcraft players know what that means. Infi is going for an expansion and Colorful is so ready to punish that. Here we go. Whispers in for the detonate, gets it, but not too much blight. Mostly the skeletons. And yeah, Colorful got so good at that. Banana Max, thank you for the sub. Lots of damage on that Demon Hunter. The Acolyte is still up and he has to get out soon. It's Aura first, by the way, so no coil. Ooh, two ghouls, one goes down, two go down. That is painful. And Immolation can still be activated. Great harass by Colorful. Can he deny this last troll? No, that is level 2 then. That was painful and expensive. But he's not broken. Can someone explain why bother with the sacrificial skull when you're expanding? Uh, you really want the Narub tower up as fast as you can and you need the blight that a skull provides for the Narub tower to be able to build and night elves can dispel that blight with a wisp so one skull isn't enough if done perfectly and then you need two. Counter regression trying to buy time for his expansion the norm Moon juice is super dry for colorful. That was expensive. Thank you, Rox202, for the sub. Much love. Now the subs are coming in. That's the way I like it. Still on our journey back to 1600. So far, Colorful is allowing this approach, but he's on tier 2 now, he has several options, Panda comes to mind. 
as a second hero. There we go. Well, Colorful doesn't seem deterred at all. He's looking very confident, to be honest. Another ghoul kill. Infi is still not mining from that second base. And it's still gonna take some time. Tenth Acolyte is coming, so Infi can tech soon, right after that one. Timing is good. Oh, I love it. A couple of minutes ago I said Infi oftentimes comes over economy. And also macro. Creating different uh, challenging situations for the opponent on multiple occasions. And that's dangerous. Walker 3 is a game because of the heroes that are very hero centric. So, multitasking oftentimes not the greatest strength of the players. And if he exploited that, because he's really freaking good at it. Ooh, DK could have been caught though. Engine of Warfalls, that's nice. Little bit distraction while the tech is unfolding. He can't really compete. Where's Colorful's army, by the way? Oh, now the Dryads are coming. Wow, look at the production, it's so sick. It, it's only double crypt. I 100% expected Garks. Yeah, there's a pretty hard counter. There already. With the panda, but I thought Infi would be playing it anyway. Just because the playstyle fits him a lot. Oh, there it is. There's the third crypt. Yeah, exactly. Gargs. He's always been in love with the Gargs, even in Crypt Lord meta. Just pure mass. And all the smart undeads in the world start playing Gargs. Ted, Infi, Neo. Nice little distraction again. This game is a lot tamer than the game before. But oh man, it might be very, very epic down the road. Ooh, Gargs into Fiends. Okay, maybe he saw that the panda, or assumes that the panda is too close to three. Queen's double slaughterhouse. If he listened to the cast and wants to prove a point. Is he... F this Garg fake? I mean, it still holds value. Especially when it comes to vision. And scouting. But I don't think... No, 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 no. Colorful is not getting tricked by that. He scouts really well. Like, Colorful in this matchup versus Undead is no joke at all. And it, because he has to somewhat wait for his tier 3, Infi can't contest the panda. That is a problem. The levels in general are a problem. I think Colorful 
Despite being down a base for the longest time, not anymore soon. It's having a fine game. But you know how it is with undeads. One coil nova, one missed staff, and there we go. If Infi decides to go for mass destroyers, or a lot of destroyers, which, you know, seems like he's hitting a hard timing, there is very little against destroyers. But there's also very little for the destroyers to attack currently. But with Orb of Annihilation, that doesn't matter too much. Yeah, Colorful crept a lot, that's true. Big mana potion. Not the greatest items for him, though. Can't wait for the fight, guys. This fight's gonna be sick. Level 4, Katka's pipe. You know how much I love my pipe on the Night Elves. Three claws for that Lich, though. And one of them is plus 12. And a mantle. Yo, this is double damage Lich. Single target damage is insane. But AoE is insane on colorful side, thanks to the panda. And Infi still has perfect vision. Ooh, double Eagle Scroll. This is a great setup. 73 food. Uh oh, no real anti air. But Infi is taking us up. Both are creeping one more camp. And then we got it. Then we get the fight. Bone chimes. Would be sick for hippos, but we don't get them. That is a huge army. And that is so timing dependent. And uh, Infi hits this timing well so far. No burrow for the fiends and a myriad of breath of fire 50 percent of global warming is coming from colorful's panda invo potion already a little bit of focus fires the dk is far forward but that's the strength of destroyer just get rid of bears immediately the perfect heal ward position it's so good oh my god but Infi has to kite back. Quite some losses. Destroyer mana might be over soon. Lich is providing still a sick amount of damage. The panda didn't even touch the mana potion yet. Fiends are getting hurt. The heal scrolls are gone. Demon Hunter in trouble though. Panda level 5. Oh my god. Such patient play by Colorful. And now he's exploding in this fight. Huge supply lead. Level 3. Breath of Fire. And good luck. Good luck running from this against all the Dryads. No TP on Infi. This feels like colorful one. Oh yeah, he's frying everything. Infi holds on to that Lich. God damn, what a carry. And Panda has a full mana potion. Yeah, good luck. Brilliance Aura and a big mana potion on a Panda level 5. This is nightmare material. Oh boy. DK once again. Forced into an invul soon. All hail hero focus. And it's working. The demon hunter is dead. Colorful. You can't lose this game. No way. Solo experience on the panda now. Heal scroll, nicely done. But everything is getting burned to pieces again in seconds. Everything is orange, everything is red, everything is about to die. Good luck focusing that panda. 
Micro control by Infi, not perfect with the fiends. He's just plowing through. Yeah, despite the Demon Hunter loss, still a huge win for Colorful. There was the potion. And Infi sees a way back into this game. 12,000 damage on the panda. <laughs> that is super sick. No staff, definitely a mistake. Items being sold for heal scrolls. Naga has fork lightning now. And the army is back to 63 with the Demon Hunter not in place. Infi is a mastermind when it comes to strategies. If he sees a way out, there must be... Oh my god, that coil was clutch! But it's just, is it an overwhelming Night Elf Mass? We have one heal scroll left. That thing got a carry against the panda. Destroy is under attack. That's five supply. That's ten supply. That's even more. Oh, that's the last heal scroll. But that was also... Oh, this, we are close to six. We got a mana potion on the panda. Don't forget about that. Where we go. One more kill. He has to decide. Do you want to end this game with a breath of fire? Do you want to end this game with earth, storm, and fire? There's definitely fire involved. And Infi's supply is just plummeting. DK far up front. Naga position interesting. No ultimate as burning the statues. They're made out of wood, by the way, so they burn easy. Uh... Okay. Demon Hunter is back. TP out immediately. Colorful wants to preserve all the units he has. Heal them up again. 16,000 damage. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. That's so sick. Now we get disease cloud. This might be a little bit too late. Can the Lich get to... F oh, Naga! <sighs> okay, close. Haven't seen any mana burns in a long time. But the panda is ready for the ult. And Colorful is getting up another base. I love it. Don't force the issue. A-bombs and disease cloud. They're online. Off we go. Demon Hunter! Surrounded! Panda carries the staff, so he's out now. Well, there was an invoke potion forced. That brilliant Sora, by the way, regenerated more mana than the obsidian statues, if the overlay is correct. Which I kind of doubt, to be honest. Three A-bombs. Yeah, Infi needs repair. On the statues, they can't be part of that fight, really. Dryads can be sniped easy. Disease Cloud is spread. Dryads out of position big time. And we get more meat. More meat in this fight. Bears first, A-bombs. Will we see the Panda Ultimate finally, or is that just celebratory? Couple of free kills for Infi. And now we're close to the undead base. Lich mana empty, all mana empty, because of the statues being so far behind. Heal scrolls from the undead shop, always great value. Same for the coil. 
But yeah, this is it for holding on to dear life. There's two big kills coming. And the Demon Hunter is approaching level 5. There it is. Level 3 mana burn. Good luck against that. High level Night Elf heroes are carrying for now. Lich not getting to level 5. Demon Hunter on the menu again. But if there's no mana, there's no nuke. And then there's no threat. And it's all colorful. Infi lost absolutely everything. Earth, Storm, Fire. We got a Cyclone as, as damage mitigation. Because there's no spell against it currently. There it is. And these Pandaren, they're so strong, but he can't nuke at the- uh, he can't staff at the moment. Runs out. Okay, that was the Hail Mary play by Infi, who loses the game on that exp expansion. Uh, not working out here so far. And colorful. That chase after Infi pushed into his base. That was a great hold. Really well done. So now, conceal till next. And match points for Colorful. Whoever wins this series, Happy is up next against him. Not an easy task. Infi... Infi versus Happy would probably create more hype. But if you see Infi versus Lawlight on a menu for a Warcraft stream, you Better be good as well. It is Concealed Hill, and it does surprise me, because this is not an expansion map, and I would expect Infi to always want to expand, but it's a great guard map. Feels like Infi... Got a year older during that last game. Colorful adjusting the glasses once more. And off we go. I don't think we will see much deviation from the Night Elves here. It's Demon Hunter Panda all the way. Against Infi at least. Against Happy you know that he's probably not going Gargs. So Naga it is, and at one base it is, but against Infi, totally different game. So is it gonna be one base Infi Garks? Thank God he's not playing uh, the Ted build with no hero into Garks. That was fun, but hey, save it for the round of 16. Round of 8, way too important for shenanigans like this. Soul. 
There is the new undead option of tower pushes. Let's not forget about that. Is that a great option? I don't think so. But it is an option. You gotta do something with that skull. And you do have six acolytes. Classic colorful. Whatever the night elves did with the keeper, he's doing with the demon hunter. And if he trying to say there's no narrow tower here, that makes this very effective. But Infi is rushing across the map, drops the blight, and pushes with towers, forces the demon hunter back. Here we go. Exactly. It's a new undead flavor. Everybody said we don't get any new tools with this patch. Well, apparently we can tower now. Took 20 years of Warcraft to make it matter. Oh man, this is so do or die. Demon Hunter has some good mana left, but not endless. Ghouls are very, very hurt. You can heal them to a degree at the fountains, but man, Infi, he's spending a lot of his mana as well. New ghouls are coming in, good rotation, no pressure on this tower. If the Nerub comes up, there's a shot. Trying to drain Demon Hunter mana, trying to buy time for the tower. We're close, but Colorful's reaction is pretty good. Hunter's Hall immediately, Double Engine of War immediately, Glaives immediately. I think this is very stable. It's only tier one, so no panda. And one of the trees might fall. Oh, if he sent the ghouls back to the main, not to the fountain, so it will take time to get them back. But everybody's respecting the towers. That's why we're operating with glaives here. Ghouls are back. Big damage. Oh, Infy. This might work somehow. If you somehow get your fangs on the glaive. But that is problematic. Yeah, the glaive is a genius strike. Easy count, easy hold. On the back of this, you can see Infi wasn't fully committing to it. This tower push prevented the Demon Hunter level 3 as he didn't lose too many ghouls. And he also started the tech to tier 2 long time ago. It was kind of a decoy. Otherwise, we would have seen a lot more ghouls. And a lot more towers. Maybe even a shop. Can't prevent level 3 for so long. And now the glaive is of course a liability. If he can switch into Garks. If he wants to. He is of course heavily underleveled. And there's no second crypt. Ooh, Infi is also supply blocked. I that's not good. And boots go to colorful. Damn, I really like colorful's defense. Not panicking, not overreacting. Just play it well. Demon Hunter level 3 is a force. Oh, if he's pulling more ghouls. 
super annoying to play against. Ghouls everywhere. And colorful... Okay, he has arrived at tier 2. There's the panda. But a good connection by Infi. That's one kill. That's two kills for sure. Probably three. Yep. 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 Big impact. Okay. I guess colorful... Oh, four. Four is a little extreme. Five? Ouch. God damn, Infi. But colorful also with an expansion up. And I... Oh, sweet surround locks it in. And there is no staff on Colorful, no TP either. Infi all of a sudden. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Are you kidding me? Infi! No! Oh, no. You gotta get him. I uh, finally. Oh. Uh, my heart rate should be on the Chinese overlay. What was that? 300. Goddamn. All the ghouls. No, don't, 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 don't feed them. Don't feed them. Oh. Oof. That was panic mode. Creeps are getting in- Why are the creeps getting involved? What? Okay. Whew. Saved. All saved. Calm down, guys. Nothing big happened. Panda's back. And the Naga is still hurt. Oh my god, what clown fiesta this is! Just burn him to the ground! Needs the fiend as a buffer unit. But the panda still has burns in him. Oh man. Infi going for the Lich now, it's arrived on tier 3. Colorful, this expansion didn't walk one step. And Infi saves this Naga. <laughs> Plus gets information from it. Even if the Naga falls, it's not that... ...bad. Oh no! Oh no! Ouch! That's just mean. That's just mean. You know how exhausting it is for Naga to slither across the entire map? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. Oops! Okay, this is supposed to be the dedicated push. It's hitting quite hard. Because the panda is only level 2. And the army should be hurt from the poison at the camp. And <laughs> he's, just, he's just killing that expo. Man of the people picks up the tome. Yep, can't hold this. Andy, thank you for the sub. Two years, mate. W congrats to your new sub badge. This match is so weird. I wholeheartedly agree. This match is not on the level of the other matches.
And Infi's push is somehow scarier than we all expected. Tier 3 for Colorful is not done. Demon Hunter has no TP. There's a staff though. <sighs> Throw the ends into the mix. Dryads operate from range. Statue's healing against it. Not bad. Oh, 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 Panda, no! He's supposed to be the carry. Another 66 second bench. And Colorful has. If he had an expo, I'd say there's a chance. But this looks super decisive. Coil hits, Naga blocks, Demon Hunter. Oh, Moonwell Juice. How is Colorful supposed to hold this? Orbs always help, of course. Panda's about to be back. It's still nighttime. But once nighttime is over and the juice is gone, there shouldn't be a chance. And oh! Nicely, nice save by this panda. But there's no bears left for the redo. He's cutting production in half. And oh my god, Infi, despite the botch tower push, might do it. He's getting hurt now. Ritu is up. And colorful holds? Maybe just a quick uh, dive into the pool. Oh, wait, the Nagas. Wait, wait, wait. Ooh. Panda levels are underwhelming. Otherwise, Colorful looks fine. But if he's getting creep jacked here with this army and no TP, then that slides out. Yep. I'll scroll the beast only. A little bit of Ritu. Dispelled. Oh my god. Sick destroyer dispel there. Where did that destroyer come from? Yeah, it was just sidestep to the shop for heal scroll and invo. Now we creep the middle because we're here anyway. It was the creep? Ah, okay. Lol. Kinda you mean from you guys to call in for your creep, but okay. <laughs> and all you are a little unfortunate. Okay, Colorful got the levels 4 and 3. Few items though, but he got some. This item is not what Infi necessarily expected from this. Can the DK coil heal the Naga? Nope. So... How... Does this undead play work on one base, one base in the long game? I think the moment Infi let go of the pressure, Colorful felt fine. And four and three is pretty sick levels. He's trying with the hero nuke again. That was the only remaining coil though. Lots of gold invested into heal scrolls, which he definitely needs. Uses one now, but one ghoul fades anyway. And the Dryads, they're almost untouchable, I'd say. He wants to get rid of the bears first. 
doesn't get the kill a little unlucky maybe dk has nothing to save himself the invo post is on another hero he has to stay back you can't fight this the concave of dryads looks really good one fiend after the next getting annihilated and colorful survives this push if the demon hunter is not falling which it isn't staff is ready well calculated lich the invo potion was gone and it's gg colorful coming back from a stressful situation head scratch and win 2-0 and for him over infi so just like last time infi isn't able to take a map off of this guy no it was the other way last time infi won 3-0 now colorful got it and he finds himself in the winner bracket semi-final with Happy, where he needs to play his A game. But I think playing Happy style suits him a lot better than the Infi style. The one base play, the timing dependent. Choke up between these guys was pretty sick, so very excited about that. That's it for today from TP League, everybody. These are the results. Fortitude defeats Sock 2-0 in banger matches. Lynn defeats Labyrinth 2 vs 1. Good series. Happy vs Lawlight. Good series as well. This one, little underwhelming. But, yeah, definitely the weakest of the four. The Human Mirror might have been the series of the day. Would you agree, chat? Was that the best series of the day? Happy vs. Lolai was pretty sick too, but underwhelming end. I think Labyrinth tap outs were a little premature, otherwise it could have been great. This is your winner bracket, everybody. There you have it displayed. Fortitude vs. Lin. Happy vs. Colorful. Those are the top four gamers. And man, am I excited for this one. I'm not too sure if it's tomorrow or the day after. Maybe someone can tell me. And you are right! There's a human, there's an orc, there's an undead, and there's a night elf in the top four. As if this game is balanced. Fantastic. That's how we want it. Lower bracket as well. Sock vs. Labyrinth. This one's gonna be super sick. And Law Lion vs. Infi. Great name value. But if Law Lion plays as he did today, he's gonna crush Infi. God damn, this is gonna be good. So this is tomorrow. Oh no, that's today! Sorry, it says today, so it is today. Yeah, as we said, 2-0, 2-1, 2-1, 2 It's like a result sandwich. And I wonder what the schedule for tomorrow is. We might get into best of five territory. So just like you, I'm eagerly awaiting the next slide. Today. No, tomorrow. Okay, winner bracket tomorrow. Best of five. Okay, that's sick. Fortitude versus Lin. A match that Fortitude could never really win. Even in his prime. In like 2019. And happy versus colorful. In the best of three, I'd say colorful certainly had great chances. In best of five, this is happy territory. Shout out to the sponsor Opspot. If you want to observe your kids or something, or your dogs, or whatever. Opspot. Supporting Warcraft 3 tournaments. Opspot. Alright. Man, this cast was so much better than yesterday. I think also chat vibes were a lot better than this.